Hi, David Ingebretson. Uh, today I'm going to show you the voltage controlled oscillator. I've got a bit of a cold, so I apologize if I sneeze or sniff. The Steiner synthesis system had um, well three basic types of oscillators. It had a type A, which had four outputs, which is what we have here. Uh, there was a type B with two outputs, type C with one output. Um, I'm going to show you the uh, type A, which is the most versatile and uh, probably the, the one that most people would have had in their, in their system. The uh, four outputs are a triangle wave, sine wave, sawtooth wave, and a pulse wave with a variable pulse width either by a knob on the front panel or by a voltage control input. Uh, the, the oscillator also has a phase reset or sync where a trailing edge from a sawtooth wave or from a pulse wave will force the oscillator to reset its phase and so therefore be at the same frequency as whatever the phase reset signal is. So you can feed a, a master oscillator into this one, it will become a slave and will sync its frequencies together uh, and also add some interesting uh, character and, and harmonics to the signal when it does that depending on how far off the slave oscillator is in frequency from the master. So first of all I want to show you the, the four waves. Here's the triangle wave. Here's the pulse wave and you can see I can adjust the pulse width. And this is the sawtooth wave. And the sine wave. Now the um, the oscillator has a very wide frequency range. Mm. Two, two beats of frequencies of, a, well rather cycles of more than tens of seconds. To essentially above audio. I can't hear this, maybe you can, but I'm getting old. So the, the oscillator is a very useful and versatile, uh, versatile addition to a system.